Wong got hurt. The Yankees lose their starting pitcher. And the pitcher from Taiwan is Jin Ming Wang. He has not pitched in the major league since 2013. And has not been the same guy since. He won 19 games two years in a row. And he was the next great pitcher for the Yankees. It's tough to see good guys struggle. We lost our ace. It was a career defining moment. I believe that all pitchers are one pitch away from never pitching again. Their backs are against the wall, and to get back, they have to perform. Name of the movie, Late Life, the Chen Ming Wong story. Chen Ming joins us, and the director, Frank Chen, uh, joins us as well. Guys, thank you very much for sharing this story. And Chen Ming, I'll start with you. Why did you agree to do this film? He didn't want to do it at the beginning, um, but uh, his agent kept on pushing him, <coughs> saying that this could be a, a, a great uh, piece uh, for the later generations to, to see and to, to see what he had to go through. And Frank, you directed this film. What attracted you to the story of Chen Ming? Well, as a you know, Taiwanese origin, uh, how big of a star he is, and we all know uh, what an impact he has made. Um, but it was in 2013 when he was struggling in the minor leagues. I actually uh, I saw a scene. Um, we, we had a dinner. That was the first time I met him. Um, <clears throat> he drove a small rental car, and he's 6'4". And he, um, <laughs> he squeezed himself into that little rental car, and I was like, okay, um, how many people get to see that? You know, he drove off back to his own hotel, and you know, the next day he goes back and pitched for the, a triple A team and, you know, still trying to w work his way back. And I just thought, okay, not many people get to see that side of him. Um, we all know that he's this Yankee starter back in the day, but um, I, I think more people need to see this from a, a ball player. You know, it's uh, interesting. Uh, uh, this is something where people could say, Chen Ming, yeah, you won two years, you had 19 wins. What are you doing driving all over the place? What drove you to want to come back and continue to pitch at the highest levels? Because I wanted to show myself and everyone that if you work hard, you will have good results. No you yeah, he just wanted to prove, um, you know, you, as long as you have that persistency, um, you will be able to show, if, even if you don't make it back into the big leagues at the end, um, there is still a, a spirit that he, he wanted to prove uh, some people wrong. The title of the film, Late Life, what, what does it mean? Interpret that for us. Well, uh, Chen Ming Wong is known for his sinker ball. And um, uh, what's important for a sinker ball is that late movement, late life, um, that, that spin. So um, throughout the, the last few years of his career, he's searching for that late movement. And we also caught the, the later part of his career. I just thought this could be an interesting um, connection with his, his, the stage of his career. He's looking for another life. He's looking for a new life back into the big leagues. And he's searching for that sinker ball movement. So it was a good, um, uh, I guess, a symbol, symbolic uh, meaning for his career and his pitch. Stu, at his best, what, what could Chen Ming do? You watch games, you scout, you, you're, you have every level of baseball there. What did he do great? Well, <clears throat> actually, as a general manager in uh, Arizona, we, we scouted him and um, talked about him in the 2015 season, coming into 2015 season. He was one of the guys that we looked at, and what we liked about him is one great command, a great mom presence, never shaken out there, late life on the sinker ball. Um, and, um, I mean, he's just... Unbelievable um, how he approached and how he attacked hitters 
and forced them to do what he wanted them to do. Um, he was outstanding. Um, in his best days, the two 19-win seasons, um, when you first come to the big leagues, his first, first, first time in the big leagues, he wins eight games coming out the gate, and then the next year he wins 19, and the next year he wins 19. And those things never go away. When you know how to do that, it doesn't leave you. It, it you know, because of injury, uh, obviously, you know, things take a different, they take a different road. But the fact that he was capable of winning 19 games back-to-back -back seasons in New York, which is not an easy place to pitch, those things never leave you. And so it wasn't like in 2015 we were looking to catch lightning in a bottle. That wasn't the case at all. We knew that those things were there. Our only thought was, you know, whether he'd be healthy enough to, to pitch the season. This is a, an incredible story. We had the Bay Area premiere last night. Uh, they are going to have a larger opening. It's going to open in Taiwan a little later. We'll talk about that. But more on late life, the Chen Ming Wong story. Director Frank Chen is here as well. Comcast Business, built for business. Let's take a look at the career of Chen Ming Wong, the Yankee. And Stu did a great job of pointing out what he did when he came up in the major leagues and how he won those back-to-back 19-win -back uh, seasons. And then you've got his time with the Washington Nationals, moved on to the Toronto Blue Jays, Kansas City Royals is where he finished things out. And he finished things 6-0 and coming out of the bullpen <clears throat> with an earned run average a little over four. Uh, he pitched for his native, uh, his nation, Taiwan. That had to be a great honor as well. Uh, the name of the movie, I uh, want to make sure we get it right. Late Life, the Chen Ming Wong story. Chen Ming Wong joins us and the director as well. Frank Chen is here. And um, it, Chen Ming, let's, let's talk about coming back and your training regimen to get back after you were injured. I'm told that it was the same regimen that Scott Kazmir, a former A's pitcher, had. What did you work on to try to get back to the major leagues? It was the, the repetitiveness of the same thing over and over again. Um, it was the arm angle and the, the uh, lower half movement um, that really just building that foundation up again and again. You know, that's the highlight. We always see the major league numbers and we say, well, sure, of course, that's the thing that we all identify with. But that's the beauty part. The pain part is the minor league towns. It's the small towns. How many tiny towns did you guys have to go to? How many of the minor league cities were you going through? Because this film project started in 2014 to follow the, the story of Chen Ming. Total was 21, 21 uh, cities, uh, towns. <laughs> Name some of those towns. Um, I'm sure we couldn't find them on a map. Uh, Scranton, Waldorf, Maryland, <laughs> Tacoma. Um, Gwinnett, Georgia. Gwinnett, Georgia. What was the New Britain. Atlantic League? You were... Yeah, New Britain, okay. um, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I can't remember. Was no the point. access that tough? Did some of these teams say, hey, you know, this is going to be kind of a, it's going to get in our way? No, generally with, with minor league teams and, and independent league teams, they're, they're easier going. Um, we, we have a lot of access to players and behind the scenes stuff. All right, so we're tight on time here. The one thing I want to ask you about is of all those accolades we saw at the bottom, you pitch for Taiwan. What did that mean to you to pitch for your nation? Taiwan. Taiwan is the international team. That's the main thing. You can yeah, it was uh, a great honor because you were able to um, uh, collect that, that whole spirit of the nation together and uh, let the world see Taiwan a little bit more. So it's a great honor for him. That's a great thing to see. All these people who make it to the highest of levels, whenever they get to wear their nation's uniform, that always means something a little extra special. Where can we see this film, Frank? Well, we're playing... Um, another show tonight in San Francisco and then uh, we're planning a few more shows across uh, North America uh, in the next few weeks, in the uh, next few months and then we'll do a wide release in Taiwan uh, towards the end of the year. Outstanding. Chen Ming, congratulations on your journey and the story. Frank, thank you very much for sharing it with us. Best of luck to you. Uh, what, what's your future plan? What are you going to do next? So, 
He's looking into coaching, uh, trying to pass on to what he learned over the years to the next generations. His first time on a set doing television. Not so, maybe a TV future. Maybe you have a, a future in television. <laughs> he said no. no.